I'm Charlie with Everglades Equipment, and today we're going to be going over the 1025R and the 3032E. So both of these units behind me would be great for a smaller property owner just with a couple acres down to even a, like a 10 acre property. Um, both of these would be great for horse farms, uh, just property owners in general, like even, you know, bringing mulch up to your front gate, you don't want to walk doing that. So, you know, throw everything in the bucket and drive up. But this one in particular, the 1025, it's 53 inches wide at the bucket. So it's really convenient if you've got horse stalls or tight fitting spaces, you know, tight trees, something like that. Really easy to get around, get in and out and scrape stalls or backfill, whatever you need to do. Super easy. Um, and obviously this is the 25 horsepower with that 1025R name. Um, this one to my, to my left over here is the 3032, so 32 horsepower. Um, same thing though, really great for just general utility going around the farm um, or small property that you may have and kind of just actually having a bit more horsepower and a bit more drive to actually have some lifting capacity a little bit more than this guy over here. Okay, so now we're gonna get into it. We're gonna start with the 1025. We're gonna end up doing a little walk around. This is the 1025R. I know I keep saying that, but let's break it down a little. So the first number is the one. That's always gonna be the series of tractor it is. So if this was a two, uh, like a 2025R, it would be a two series tractor. So this one is a 1025, so it's a one series tractor. Then the last three digits, which on this machine are 025, it's gonna mean that it's a 25 horsepower tractor. Then the last letter on the model is gonna be the trim level. So this is an R, which is the highest level trim model you can have at John Deere. Okay, so we're down to the right of the 1025R. As you can see here, this is the 120R. So this is the loader that's actually on it. And this is great because it actually has this quick park stand here. So you can pop this whole loader off right back here. It comes off probably in a minute if you if you know what you're doing and how to do it. It's a very simple process. It's even got single point hydraulics, so you can disconnect all four of your hydraulic lines at the same exact time. Your first step is gonna be to put your put your tractor on a flat area in a, in a safe space away from everything. Then you're gonna lower your bucket all the way down to the ground, put some pressure on it, you know, some downward pressure, kind of get the, almost like you're gonna pick the front end of the tractor up, but not that dramatically. And then these, these actual levers back here on the mass of the, the machine, you're gonna be able to pick those up almost with your fingertips very lightly, okay? Then as you put some more pressure on the, the hydraulic control, you're actually gonna be able to watch the parking sand come uh, straight down on the ground and actually lift the whole loader off of your machine. Once your machine is all, all free from the loader, at that point, you can actually just hop off the tractor and disconnect the hydraulics in one lever with all four of the hydraulic lines coming off at the same time. Uh, this model obviously has some pretty small tires. It's our one series tractor, so it's gonna be a pretty small tire front and back. So we'll get into the back tires a little bit more. All right, we're on the 1025R now. So as you can see, I've got these handy armrests. So you've got the upgraded seat. You even have a little embroidered John Deere patch here, very fancy. Then going down here, you've got your LED lights on both sides. This is the R model, so you're gonna have the nicer seat, the LED lights all that good fun stuff. Then you go over to your loader controls, which are conveniently placed right here next to you. As you can see, it's really easy. I don't have to do any of this up here. It's right here, very easy, comfortable to, to grab. Then you've got your lift arms right here for your back. Um, then you've got your parking brake here. This is a hydrostatic machine. So you've got your twin touch pedals here, literally a arrow, arrow forward and an arrow backwards. Not much to mess up there. Going up here to the front, um, you can actually see your dashboard is right here. So you've got your, your turn signals, your speedometer, all that good stuff. You've got your throttle here. It literally goes from turtle to rabbit, so pretty easy there. This is your PTO, so to engage like a rotary cutter or anything like that, you're gonna turn on your PTO from here. Your key here. Um, let's see, you've got your lights over here. So to turn on these lights here, your turn signals, your hazards, whatever you need, right there. We're on the left side now, so I did miss one thing. You've got your four-wheel drive over here, so the 1025 does come equipped with the four-wheel drive, and it's just right over here, very easy to see. Um, you've got your differential lock right here on the left side, down at the very bottom. Then this is actually a pretty exciting thing. This is for your mid-PTO, so this is really used for like a belly mower. Um, it's, it's very nice. It almost turns this unit into a big garden tractor. 
They come in 54, 60. Um, you can drive right over top of them, literally right over top of the deck. You're not hurting anything. And it auto connects. You just have to jump out and flip two little levers. It's very easy. Um, but this is all controlled here, almost like any of our residential mowers and our commercial mowers. They have a dial for the high to cut, so you just set it and drop your uh, three point down on where you want it and you're done. It's very easy. Then going over here, you've just, it's a hydrostatic tractor, so you've just got neutral, low, or high. Um, and then obviously, speed of the tractor is controlled by uh, your throttle over here and then how hard you push your pedal down. Uh, then you've got your nice fuel gauge here, very easy to see. You'll see on the 3 Series, you actually have to look over your shoulder, so that is very easy right here. You can just take a quick glance down and it's right there. Um, and then the only other thing really on this side, this is going to be for your PTO, so you have the option of, you know, the belly mower, so that's your mid PTO, and then you have your rear PTO, which would be for like a, a rotary cutter or a bush hog, whatever you'd like to call it, um, and that's here, and it's very easy with icons, so you've got your belly mower is under you, and then you've got both, and then you've got your rear, and that's about it. Your fuel fill-up's right here, very easy to access. You don't have to do any over your head stuff, super easy. Okay, so we just went over the 1025R over there, and now I'm in front of the 3032E. So this is not the first one in the lineup of the three series, just like the 1025R is not the first one in the one series. If you're looking for something that's just general utility around maybe your smaller property, maybe a couple acres, but you're needing something that can do some heavier lifting. Um, this model is great for, for accessing inside horse stalls and everything like that. It's got a 60 inch bucket, so not too much larger than the 1025R, but as you can see, the whole tractor is much larger actually. Okay, so we're down here next to the 3032E. And just to go over again, this is because of the first three, it's a three series tractor. And then the last three are gonna be the horsepower. So 032, it's 32 roughly horsepower motor. And then the E is the trim level. So this is our, our base model ma machine. This is the 300E loader that's on this machine. This is what comes standard from factory with the three E tractors, all of them. Um, and as you can see, it looks a lot different than the 120R here. So you don't have a quick park stand and it's hard mounted here, you can see. So this one is not coming off and on. So if you have something that you want to be able to take the loader off and on, this is not the machine for you. Okay, these are the R4 tires on this model. We've talked about it in past videos, but you kind of have three different options when you're getting tires on all of the compacts. You have the R1s, which are the more aggressive kind of ag tires. You've got the R3s, which are turf tires, not going to tear up your yard at all, but not much traction. And then the kind of in-between model, which is the R4, these are definitely our most popular models. They're kind of that in between again. So you're not really gonna tear up your yard like crazy, but you're actually gonna have some traction if you get into a wet or sticky situation. And down here in Florida, we actually fill these up with water because we don't freeze. And that actually gives you a significant amount more ballast and helps you with your loader and doing dirt work or picking up anything heavy. But as you can see, me standing next to these, they're pretty decent sized tires on all these three E's. We're in the seat of the 3032E, and I'm just gonna do a brief overview, but as you can see, if you just looked at the 1025R, this seat has no armrest. It's a pretty basic seat right here, so no logo, um, and pretty much the same layout, but your loader controls are actually all the way up here, so it, it does have that less of a kind of convenient feel. But if you want an in-depth overview of this, we actually just did a video last week on the 3038E. So this is the same, it's hydrostatic, so same as the 1025R on the layout here. You've just got neutral, low, and high. Then you've got your throttle here, so turtle to rabbit, and then your twin touch pedals down at the bottom. So a forward pedal and a reverse pedal. Uh, you got your brake and your differential lock on this same pedal here. And on the dashboard up here, you've got your lights, uh, you've got your regen process here, turn signals, and they're the same mounted up here on the ROPS. You got a nice cubby here for your owner's manual or tools, whatever it may be. Uh, your parking brake and your four-wheel drive. That's about it. Okay, so we just went over the 1025R and the 3032E, and you saw a lot of similarities and a lot of differences between the two. So I kind of want to get into the recommendations just a little bit. So as you can tell, both of these models are pretty similar as far as just general utility tractors. 
Um, they're great on even like a five acre property, let's just say that. Um, if you've got horses, if you're trying to get into stalls, you're trying to do really tight things, maybe you have a belly mower and you, you, know, you don't wanna use your lawn mower as much as you have been, this is a great machine. It comes with the mid PTO already. The belly mower is a pretty inexpensive option to add. And this is great. You can take the loader off. You can fit it really tight spaces. Very great. This model, on the other hand, it's not going to have all the, all the fancy things that this one can have, um, like that mid PTO, like the quick park loader. Not that, but you do have a pretty significant more amount of lifting capacity and height. So if you're doing a little bit heavier applications, like dirt work, um, box blading, stuff like that. I mean, really, this is probably a better tractor for you. But on an easy standpoint and just getting stuff, you know, around your property type thing, both of these units are great and priced really not that far from each other.